Hi, yeah, I noticed you've got a Honda E Advance for sale on Auto Trader. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was looking at it. Um, I just wonder if you could do a slightly better price because there's one up north that's for sale. Same colour, less miles than you've got on it for it, um, but it's cheaper. Okay, yep. Um, when will you be bringing me back? Okay, yep. No problem. I'll speak to you then. Cheers. Bye. Okay. And what did he say? Did he say he could do it for a better price? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's still quite a bit of drift, isn't it, from the, um, the, well, the full one up north. Is there any way you can match it? Or get it close? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm happy to hold. Uh, yep. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, well, that's close enough. Yep, I think we'll probably go for that then. Uh, how soon can you have it ready? Okay, any chance you can do it the day before that? Okay then, yep, that'd be brilliant. Okay, well, I'll see you Wednesday then. 9.30, yep, see you Wednesday 9.30. Cheers, bye. Just got the insurance. It was £230 to have me on there and to have Amy on there. Let's wrap yours in yellow. Oh, are you ready for me to mess you all up with my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice, Ian. All right, let's are get you, going, shall we? Are you cute by it? Yeah, very much so. Do you know what my favourite thing about the car is? What's the favourite thing? The colour. The colour. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's turn it on. On the brown seat belt, that's funky. Okay, can I put my foot on the pedal? But please, can I see out? Start. It's quite uh, so then by the side of your seat is another handle, pump handle. You haven't got the ability to. I need a cushion. <laughs> yeah, I need a booster seat. So, first problem, she can't see over the <laughs> dashboard. Maybe it's because we're on a slope. Well, we are slightly pointing it. Let's just video that. Put it from my level. So, you can't see it. You claim? Well, well, it might be because you're on a slope. That's your eye level. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. It's now done 2,709 miles. I stuck 40 miles on it. Only another 47,300 to go. And we'll be at 50,000. I might sit on my coat. Let me sit on my so pillow. Yeah. is there. But this car drove itself pretty much all along the motorway. What do you mean? So it controls the steering and it's got adaptive cruise control. What do you mean it controls the steering? Is it fully autonomous? Uh, autonomous. Um, yeah, to a degree, yeah. What, so you can let go of the handle? 
steering wheel. <laughs> Atomic <laughs> handle. She has driven a car before, <laughs> honestly. There you go, look, now it's driving itself. Ready? No. That's steering itself. Yeah, but how? <laughs> no. What if there's no white lines? It's terrifying. <laughs> don't, just hold the line. Just hold it. Let's see. Can you not, though? Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> Do they speak like I'm bought on the water, do they? No. So you got the Apple CarPlay, so that's my iPhone plugged in, and it brings up everything like the maps, the usual maps you're looking at. Where's the camera? And then you can video it. Can I take a photo? Uh, you've got a um, multi view camera, see look. Yeah, but it's facing the wrong way. So we've got 360 degrees look, so you can see around this side, around that side, so you can see where you're at. You've got the car in the mirror, you've got yeah, look, different views, different look. So that's the mirrors. That's what the mirrors see. Look. Cool. You've got an aquarium. You can play with this side, look. You've got things. You've got an aquarium? Mm, allegedly. Doesn't seem to work when you press it. What does it make like fishes? Let's come out of that. Heated seats. The colour of the oh, look, car. There you go, look. Ooh, you there's no point in heating like mine because I've got my cushion got on. on. Oh, it's telling the number. So you can change the number of fish. Different okay. aquariums there if you want, different backgrounds. This function is. Uh, it's not very one vehicle, it's in motion. Um, you think, oh no, you can't do that because. Your me. passenger can't play with it either. Yeah, Driver can't. Yeah, but it'd be tempting, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a lovely and warm seats. We'll put mine on then. It is on. Please. Oh, thank you. I can't tell because I'm sitting on my coat. Oh, it's lovely right at the back. That's, the seat's really comfortable. Really comfortable. So the only thing I find at the moment is the range. Okay. That's it. This car is epic. How so many it's points? got lane. So it keeps your lane. So whatever that's called, lane assist, is it? Something like that. Where it keeps it in lane, steers for you. With adaptive cruise control, so it means you don't have to do anything on the motorway. If I'm just holding the bottom of the steering wheel, the Husky, my Bruce. If you don't know, I've got a Husky. He is not going to go in this car. This is to get it up to 50,000 miles and do a few challenges in it for the channel. That's pretty much it. Um, Where's so it beeping? It isn't beeping. That's a GoPro. Um. So we're going to attempt to do a first charge. It's the most off-road route ever, uh, but not a clue. I haven't got a Polar card. Um, so not really sure what's going to happen here, but we will see. Power down. So is it 41% at the moment? So let's go and see if I can do anything. I'm not sure I can. Also not sure if this... No, that opens a whole bonnet. Not actually sure how to do the charger, so... Uh, could look at the manual, couldn't I? What's the point of the manual? It says card not authorised. I haven't got a card to authorise it. So I'll borrow the phone now, set up the Polar app and see if I can then work it. Uh, I'm just trying to, I've set the Polar account, but it then says setting up your account. And of course it's now owned by BP. It says just a set, we're bringing over all your account details from your Polar account. Uh, so hopefully that'll work. I'm hoping. Not, still not doing anything. What I might do is pop over that seven kilowatt over there. Maybe. There's a slow post over there. Mm -hmm. Stick it on charge whilst I'm messing about, perhaps. Are we not going to test what we're doing? Uh, we can want to do it here, if that works still. Right, well, I'll let that do its thing. I'm actually going to drive over. Oh no, it says, you need to contact the app. I'm going to help you out. Contact the customer, contact the app. Contact customer services. It's a button you can't click to do it. It says, never mind, I'll explore the app. So let's see if, um, so it won't allow me to do anything. Um, log in or sign up. Um, log in or sign up. Um, yeah, it's not going to let me log in, sadly. Right, let's get on over to the uh, that slow post while I try and sort this mess out. Actually, 
looks like it's got a light on there, so that's good. Please work. I'm going to assume it's flashing. Uh, it's charging, I think. Yeah, 41% at the moment. And there's the boot. Might as well film the boot, I suppose, while we're at it. Quite a neat little car, isn't it? Charges. Yeah, so it's charging. It'll be charged in three hours and 30 minutes if we stayed on that. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Disappeared. Brilliant. Uh, no, it does it. it. Puts it up, drops it. When it opens, because it's got no, uh, there's no thing. Look, it's glass. So we're off. We never got managed to get a rapid on that one. Um, we're still on the phone. We are now twelve minutes later. Um, kind of given up on that. Got an extra two percent, I think, on the charger here. So we got an extra two percent. Um, but we realise where we're going, we think there's a destination charger there, which is a Tesla destination charger. All being well, we can plug our cable into it. Um, pretty sure we can with the destination chargers. It should fit Type 2. So, we'll see. It's a too short a song. It's a typical way with these charging cars. And this is BP, don't forget, that own Polar. Thank you for holding. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold, and we will answer your call as soon as we can. Now, I've got a petrol symbol at 15%. It's got a little petrol pump symbol. Um, but there should be charging when we get there, so hopefully it'll be alright. Oh, the bumpiest road ever. I just said that was a charge point, not a petrol pump. It is a petrol pump with a cord coming out of it. So, yeah. Or, or a pod point. They could just have the cable symbol, couldn't they? It's because they still think people are stuck in the petrol age and need to be reminded that when it's got a picture of a cable, it also means it's for fuel. Wow. I'm wondering. Uh, is that poshness for us? It is. Are you sure? Yeah, possibly. But I can drop you off and go around. It's really good. There it is, it's got two oh, chargers, so let's see if this works. Please, fit, please fit, make it so much easier if it fits. Yes, charging. Four hours, yeah. three minutes. Yeah, four hours, three minutes to get in. Um, yes, charging. Cool. Right, so 13%. Four hours and 30 minutes. We're probably only going to be here an hour, but it's on 13%, so 13 miles, basically. So my initial impressions of this Honda E, I absolutely love it. I have to say, I love it. Wouldn't it be amazing if that car did 200 miles instead of like 80 to 100 miles? Wouldn't that be brilliant? Uh, it doesn't, unfortunately. But we're just reflecting whilst eating a, a lovely meal, taking my lovely wife Amy out for a meal at Lord's Manor, I think it's called, in Upper Slaughter. And thinking about the Honda E, only in part, but it's got all the features you could possibly want in a car, unless you wanted five seats, then it hasn't got all the features, uh, or a big boot, then it hasn't got that either. But in terms of driver aids and safety and things like that, um, I'm going to go into it more, I haven't really explored it much, but it's been beautiful to drive, really nicely put together, really genuinely like it. And I'm going to see actually what happens over the next year of ownership to get that up to 50,000 miles, however, however long that's going to take, um, and see whether I can cope with its limited range. Because apparently in an interview, Honda sort of signaled they weren't planning on putting bigger batteries in, not anytime soon anyway, because it's just not, the platform isn't made for it, was kind of the insinuation. So unless battery tech suddenly changes, you can get 100% more efficiency, then it's going to stay like that for some considerable time. But I actually really, really like the car. It's fun. It's quirky. It reminds me when I first bought a smart car years ago. When it first came out, I had a left-hand drive smart car. Um, and I subsequently had loads of smart cars. It's similar to the Zoe in terms of body size. 
um, following Mike back from Honda, following the Zoe, it was it looked pretty much the same. He pulled alongside along the motorway, and he was laughing his head off because I looked so funny in a little car. Um, but they're kind of similar, similar body sizes. Not having the mirrors when you're inside makes the car feel smaller. So obviously, usually when you look across left or right, you see the mirrors sticking out. Where you've lost this much either side. So it just sort of makes it feel smaller than it actually is. Um, when I pulled in at work, um, it stopped me from banging into the barrier, which I wasn't going to do anyway. But so, yeah, I'll go into it in more detail. I need to go through all the stuff, but it's packed full of features, that thing. It's just a brilliant little car. Really torquey, rear wheel drive, little hot hatch. Brilliant. Love it. So, heated yeah. seats. Mm? Heated seats. Heated seats as well. Yeah. Heated steering wheel, if you An want. An aquarium. Which An aqu aquarium. What car? Do you know of that's got an aquarium? It's a very useful feature. And you could choose three. Apparently. I was really stressed out because of the stupid polar. And we turned the aquarium on, and I just, oh, I just feel so peaceful. Stupid fish kept swimming around there. <laughs> <laughs> it was a shark. No, not really. <laughs> so yeah, I'll pick it up later. But that's my initial impressions. Well, we're back, and it's still charging. Still charging. We just so, had a very nice meal. We did. Lush, wasn't it? That was dessert for fitter rolls, though, wasn't it? So what are we on? Oh, 56%. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We did. So right, we've got to go, aren't we? We're in a rush to get back now. Are we going to get home in time? Yes, definitely. That was a lovely time. Especially with that sort of percentage back in. Good stuff. So we've got this little area here with light, with Honda, which is quite neat because that in night time is going to light up the Honda badge, isn't it? Which is pretty cool. Um, you press this button here. And that knocks it on the head. Put that around like that. Shut that like that. Oh, it's a nice little catch. It's a very nice little catch. Wow, that's quite nice. Good stuff. And that closes down. There's me. Hey! Heading off. Home. There she is. Look at that. In the night time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back home. Almost looks white. The Zoe. Not coming home with me tonight. This is coming home. I'm going to head back home. And I'm going to try and stall the app whilst it's on charge. So I'm going back out tonight. Handles don't come out when you... Um, get near it but if I unlock it they do and they've got handy little lights in there look at that that's a nice little touch and the lighting in there very nice very very nice and so what have we got we've got the lights on they come on oh they've gone off again now but you saw them there briefly so that's at night time it's quite neat and then when you open the door you get lights on and not having mirrors you don't have to worry about folding them in. Let's just get in. So we've only got 11% left. And so when you get in, the car comes on automatically, um, which you can turn off. Oh, that's gone. Which you can actually turn off if you want to. Um, the amount of dials is incredible. So the information here is, I would have said it's information overload. For someone who's not technically minded, this will be a bit of a challenge shall we say the amount of things going on is just incredible 
and I got cut off because of Apple CarPlay. But it's awesome. It's really, really good. So for someone that's not into this sort of level of detail, this is going to be a very, very interesting car for you. <laughs> Probably in a bad way. But we've got heated seats here, so you can have three modes. It gives you a graphic on the screen, so you press it once for full, again, again, and again. So you've got off, then three modes. We've got heated seats here, so press it one. That's full heat, and it's really, really hot. Uh, the graphics, if you're wondering, so if I press that button there, and then press this button here, you get them both up at the same time. You've got heated steering wheel just here, so I can press that, and that gives you an indication on there as well. Um, of course, you've got your climate control, which is all down here, rear heated front. It clears the front windscreen real quick. Um, you've got air conditioning. You can turn the AAC off. It shows it there, and it shows it there as off. So in two places, in case you've got a different screen, I guess. So the fact that this is split down um, is epic. I like that. That's really, really good. You've then got another set of dials here. So you've got all of this stuff. So you can go back home on the radio. This is the volume for the radio. So that just adjusts the volume. Uh, you've also got a volume on the steering wheel, which you can adjust. So you've got everything you can pretty much you need on the steering wheel as you want it. So yeah, very accessible. All of this is just an incredible amount of information. <laughs> It's pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Um, pretty impressive. So down here, you've got the handbrake, obviously, on here. The bar. You've got drive modes. We've got normal and sport. So if I bring this up here, you've got normal, then you've got sport mode. So I can bring it back down to normal. The car graphic on here, I just think that's brilliant. I think that's really, really good. So it shows you what you've got going on. So if I turn the lights off, there they are, see, they've gone off. Turn them on, they're on. Um, the high beam doesn't do anything. Let's see if it does, if I put it on full, no. So it's not reflective of the actual high beam and low beam, but it tells you've got your lights on or off. Um, so, yeah, you can put them on auto. Um, so, yeah, you've got auto lights. Oh man, you've got everything you could possibly need in this car. <laughs> um, then you've got one pedal driving. So you've got one pedal driving, which you can press that. There's no light indication on here, but then you get it on here somewhere. Once you're driving, I think it shows up. Let's just put that on there. Uh, put my foot on the brake. If I put it into drive, um, I'm trying to see if I can get that to show. It's not showing that one pedal driving at the moment, but it will uh, when you're going along. Um, and then you've got obviously neutral, and then you've got park here. Put the parking brake back on. Let's put the lights on. Um, got them stopped and presumably thinks I'm getting out of the car at this point in time keeps all these screens on there's a setting in there that keeps these screens on for a certain amount of time and then goes into power saver so you've got that option you can mess around with that um, and you've got the reverse option so you just put your foot on the brake put it into reverse and the camera system you've got here is obviously a reversing camera you go backwards then you've got the all around 360 with the advance which is what I've got why wouldn't you go for the advance? You might as well. It's, it's, it's a couple of thousand pound more, isn't it? But at least. Um, but second hand, they're the similar prices between the standard and the advance. Um, and then you can mess around if you want with these images essentially. So you can just have the rear um, somewhere along the line. You can just have the. Um, let's have a look. You can have just the mirrors. I can't quite think how that is. You probably have to put it into drive. It's right here. Look. Multi camera think oh there we go there's a two mirrors look so you've got left and right facing forward i think facing forward yeah so they're definitely facing forward uh, not the highest quality i mean it is nighttime of course which is causing that little um, pixelation all across the screen but those are facing forward at the same time i've got the mirrors facing backwards as you can see so let off the brake and put the brake on there you are you can see very sharp brakes by the way so the mirrors are they are dipped down quite nicely very dull um, at night so they're not overbearing especially that left one you can kind of tell that it's not yeah it's not too bad at all uh, time for me to get going back home 
put this on charge and then try the app which has got about one star out of loads and loads of reviews <laughs> oh it's going to be interesting so the video is showing you there the lights that's full beam that's dipped um, that's i would say that's incredibly sufficient uh, very good at night through country lanes it's uh, lighting up lovely you can clearly see so yeah that's a thumbs up for the lights okay so i'm just going to go into the boot and then i'm gonna see what happens here now so the window comes down and it goes back up again and it shuts off uh, let's go to the boot and see what sort of lighting there is at night adequate lighting very nice okay as you can see that's nice and bright answers that one i want to look what's in these bags i have not looked in there yet so i'll do that on the next video to see what we've got here presumably one of these type twos which this is the zoe's one so i'm going to put that back into the charger now uh, i'm going to charge it up sit back in and um, just try and do the app now i'm not going to do the app today i'll do that on another blog We'll carry on, range three miles. Well, I need to go to Lydney this evening. So it's great because it's a challenge again. I don't want to run out, but at the same time, on the Zoe, you do not get this problem. Now, I see that as a positive thing. Just remember, you need to see that in the opposite light. <laughs> Having a, a car which does minimal mileage uh, is not a good thing. And I've got a picture of a turtle on there. So it makes me wonder, is it charging? Um, I think it is charging. So we'll see, it says six hours, 4%. It's, um, it's got on there. Um, I'll leave it for a while. It is, time is now quarter past five. So I'm leaving in about an hour and a half-ish. So hopefully we'll have enough going on there. Oh, there's the temperature there, four degrees C. Right, I will see you guys on the next vlog. The next one, which hopefully will be fairly soon. Goodbye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be awesome.